What's going on, guys? It's your boy, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy, the Fashion and Fragrance Channel. If you're into fashion, if you're into fragrance, one or both, doesn't matter to me. I hope you don't mind subscribing to the channel, man. And don't forget to hit that little bell icon as well. That way you give yourself a chance that YouTube will notify you when I upload new content on this channel. So today I'm going to be talking about some versatile fragrances that I think are great for you to add to your collection if you don't have them for 2023. Listen, man, versatility is one of those aspects of fragrances that I think are even more important when you don't have a large collection to choose from. Because versatility lends itself to that fragrance being able to be worn in multiple situations and multiple seasons. And I think you can really get your bang for your buck when you have a fragrance that can kind of cover all uh, different occasions and different reasons and seasons. So uh, that's what we're going to be getting into today. I have 10 fragrances in my collection that I want to talk about and recommend again for this year, 2023. So it won't be the same old, same old fragrances that you know, you sometimes see on a list like this, there are certain fragrances that we know are just versatile to and we're probably accustomed to hearing about those fragrances. But I think the ones that I have on this list today, well, you know, yeah, give you a little bit of a little versatility. <laughs> so if you want to see what's on this list and you guys know the routine, keep it locked. The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. All right, guys, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in, man. Let's go ahead and jump right into this list, man. The first fragrance, let me talk about this one really quick as an honorable mention. Uh, it was a fragrance that I did with Novitis Parfums and it's Sartorial Nui. Sartorial Nui. Now, you guys know that I don't push my fragrances down your throat, but this is a very versatile fragrance that if you don't have it, man, you need to get it in your collection. And right now, Novitas is actually doing a uh, Valentine's Day sale. So if you buy one fragrance, you can get 15% off, two, 20, three, I think it's 30, and then four, I think it's 40%. So if you don't have this fragrance, man, from uh, Novitas, which is one I did with them in collaboration, then you need to get it. You know, it's one of those fragrances that give you that freshness up top. You know, you have some clary sage and lavender uh, when it opens up. And then that nice, sweet dry down, man. You got vanilla and Tonka being and some musk in here as well. Again, very versatile, very easy to wear. And might I say, this thing smells absolutely phenomenal. Seriously, if you haven't gotten your nose on it, get your nose on this, man. It's one I did with Novitas as an honorable mention. Get your hands on Sartorio Nui. All right, guys, so the first fragrance up on the list today, this actually is a fragrance that I did a full review of. And this one has versatility written all over it. It's from the company Blue Atlas, and this fragrance is called Atlantis. Atlantis. And this is what you call a signature scent worthy fragrance right here. I love the opening of this because you get this yin and yang between this, you know, this very bright bergamot note and then this kind of tangy, bitter uh, lemon and uh, black currant up top. You have some clean lavender in here, a little bit powdery, has some ion violet in here. And then on the dry down, you get some musk. Again, signature scent worthy, definitely gives you some versatility, man. This is one of those fragrances you can dress up, you can dress down, you can wear it going out on a date, you can wear it casually. Again, just extremely personal to one. That's something that you, know, you want in a fragrance. And again, not to mention the fact that it only costs a hundred bucks. So I know that most people are gonna love that about it. So if you want something that's versatile, check this one out. It's from the house of Blue Atlas. This fragrance is called Atlantis. All right guys, the next fragrance on the list comes from the house of Hermes and this is Terre d'Hermes Eau Givre. And I love this fragrance, man. It's kind of a chip off the old block uh, from the original Terre d'Hermes. But this one is a lot more kind of that salty aquatic thing. It has a note of citron in here and I think it's pronounced Timur, yeah, which gives this kind of salty aquatic vibe to this fragrance, a little bit spicy as well. So you still get that woodiness in here that you probably will be accustomed to from the original Terra Mask from that vetiver. But this stuff, stuff is just fantastic, man, seriously. 
Just like, you know, the first fragrance that I talked about, the first two, just a very versatile scent. So check this one out, man. It's from the house of Hermes. This is Tedder de Hermes, Old Gift Ray. All right, guys. Now, this next fragrance actually comes from the house of Armaf. I talked about this recently. This is Club de Nui, Urban Man Elixir. Very versatile fragrance. Again, you <laughs> and when you talk about the two fragrances that I compared this to, of course, which is going to be Dior Sauvage and um, Prada Luna Rosa Carbon. I mean, <laughs> what else can you say other than that? This is a mass appealing, compliment getting, versatile fragrance. Cannot go wrong with this. This is one of those can't miss fragrances, man. Just honestly, you know, you may smell like some other folks. If they're wearing a Dior Sauvage or if they're wearing a Carbon, but at the end of the day, who cares, man? You know, wear what you like. The thing smells phenomenal and it's very versatile. From the house of our moth, this is Club de Nui, Urban Man Elixir. All right, guys, the next fragrance up on the list, I've talked a lot about this fragrance before, but it's from the house of YSL, and this is L'Homme Le Parfum. L'Homme Le Parfum. Oh, man, I love this one, guys. This is honestly one of the most complimented fragrances in my collection. This is almost like a can't miss for me if I wear this scent and I'm out and about. Yes, it kind of has a familiar DNA to it. You think about the original YSL L'Homme, you think about Dior Sauvage, or you think about a fragrance like Dylan Blue. So if you combine Lone with kind of a Dylan Blue or Sauvage kind of DNA, and that's what you get right here in this bottle. Both of those fragrances in their own right are heavily complemented. The original YSL Lone, Dior Sauvage, or Dylan Blue. And again, you combine them and you just get versatility all day long. So check it out. It's from the house of YSL, and this is called Lone Le Parfum. All right, guys, this next fragrance, again, and that seems to be a theme here. A lot of these fragrances are really highly complimented, at least for me as well. From the House of Chanel, their private collection, this is called 1957. 1957, and just to really make this short and sweet, man, this is a clean, white, floral, musky fragrance. And this is something you just got to put on your skin to understand what I'm talking about. Extremely versatile. I can't think of a scenario where this fragrance will not work. I love this stuff, and you may love it too if you put your nose on it. It's from the house of Chanel, and this one is called 1957. All right, this next fragrance is one that I've talked about before, man. This is the typical bro fragrance. I get it, but it smells absolutely phenomenal. There's no denying that. This is from the house of Ramon Monegal, the Ibiza collection, uh, and this one is called Cafe Del Mar. Cafe Del Mar. And again, man, another blue fragrance. But man, this thing is so unique because it has this coffee accord. So imagine, and I, I always use this fragrance because it's just the first one of the first ones that comes to my mind. Imagine Dylan Blue with, with a coffee accord. It may be hard for you to envision, but trust me, it works. This fragrance is going to remind you of like being on an island, a very tropical uh, environment and you're sitting at like maybe a Starbucks <laughs> or a coffee shop or something uh, that's kind of sort of what this reminds me of but again it's it's a typical bro fragrance I can see I've said this before guys walking on the beach on the strip you know maybe hanging out and every single last one of them smelling like this but that's not a bad thing in this case because again this is a very versatile scent and it smells phenomenal trust me you gotta get your nose on it it's from the house of Ramon Monegal this is called Cafe Del Mar. All right, guys, this next fragrance, again, another one that has versatility written all over it. I talk about it quite often on the channel. One of the best fragrances for men from the house of Louis Vuitton when you talk about versatility, this is La Mancite. This is called La Mancite, man. What you're gonna get here up top, you get some grapefruit and ginger uh, on the top. Uh, when it starts to dry down, you start to get a little bit of a spicy kick in this fragrance as well. It's not overly spicy by any means uh, because I really feel like that ginger note is the primary thing you're going to get uh, in the opening of this fragrance. And then it dries down, man, you get some Ambroxan. You know, that's really what it is. It's not overly complicated, but usually versatile fragrances aren't. You know what I mean? You're not going to find, the, of course, your interlude mans or your um, creation ease of the world on this kind of list, but you definitely will find something like this. From the house of Louis Vuitton, the versatile king, man. Compliment king. This one is called Lamontite. 
All right, guys, the next fragrance up on the list, this fragrance actually comes from the house of Mize and Sir, and this is called Celeb Woods. Celeb Woods, and I actually talked about this fragrance recently when I did a video when I talked about 10 fragrances that smell like apple pie. If you did not see that video, I'll make sure I link it here. But man, this is gonna give you that kind of scent DNA, a warm, spicy kind of scent, without being overly warm and spicy, where you couldn't wear this year round and it would fit into a more versatile kind of uh, list like this one. But you get the cinnamon here, you get the tonka, uh, there's some vanilla in this as well. Uh, but again, it manages somehow to not be overly sweet and spicy where it would be cloying to wear in hotter temperatures. So again, contributing to that versatile aspect. It smells phenomenal. And this one from the House of Mize and Sir that I think you guys would probably need to get your nose on. And again, this one is from the House of Mize and Sir. It's called Celeb Woods. All right, guys, the next fragrance on this list is an aromatic fougere at its finest, man. It's from the House of Narciso Rodriguez, and this is simply called For Him. This is called For him man i actually absolutely love this fragrance again i think it's i think it's really underrated not enough people talk about this fragrance it's, you can get it for uh what i think or consider to be a relatively inexpensive price and it smells phenomenal fougeres are to me give a more plastic scent profile you know what i mean and really to me that's not you can't really go wrong in any scenario wearing a more classic smelling fragrance but this one is does have a modern twist to it again Absolutely fantastic. Oh man, I love the patchouli in this scent. Patchouli is one of my favorite notes. There's patchouli, there's musk in here again. Just amazing. You guys gotta check this out, man. If you're looking for something versatile to wear, a lot of people probably stopped rocking this if they did, if they rocked it before. So I think it's really good to kind of bring this one back. It's from the house of Narciso Rodriguez. Again, this one is called For Him. And last but not least, the fragrance that I wanna uh, close this list out with has been a king of versatility for quite some time. It's from the house of Chanel, and this is Chanel Allure on Sport O Extreme. Chanel Allure on Sport O Extreme. Uh, you guys have probably heard about this one, so I probably don't have to go into much detail. But you have this nice, beautiful kind of mandarin orange citrus opening, and that is contrasted with some green notes and primarily sandalwood and tonka bean when it dries down. Making this the ultimate versatile or king of versatile fragrances, man. This is from the house of Chanel. And again, it's Allure on Sport O Extreme. But that's it guys, that's my time. I hope you enjoyed this list today as I gave you 10 extremely versatile fragrances that you can wear in the year 2023. As always, I sincerely appreciate you guys' time and attention to these videos. I know you don't have to watch, but you do. And I sincerely appreciate that. And don't forget to make sure you take a few moments to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you're sharing these videos out to some other folks out there that you think could use this information or find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy, Darren. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good. And of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good. Keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.